Hello, this time a little update concerning hardware. Here we got a new um, evaluation board from ESP with an ESP32 S3 chip here with a touch screen here. And yeah, it's just interesting how they compare. For instance, here an STM32 Disco Evo board. Here we have a cute from microcontroller demonstration. This is LVGL. Um, the demo software that comes with it. So what is in particular interesting is in how good this works, even though it's just a tiny microcontroller here on this side. And we also here have a very good integration of Wi-Fi here in this chip. For instance, here I'm connected to our Wi-Fi guest network. Works really well. It's reasonably fast, rescans all our networks. Additionally, it's interesting in how they compare in terms of graphics performance. So even though it's just a really tiny microcontroller, most basic uh, UI controls are there. But yeah, if you have the direct comparison, for instance here, a little bit more complex with Qt for microcontroller, you really get very smooth scrolling here. Of course, this microcontroller here, this ST1 is a little bit, yeah, it has dedicated memory and is yeah quite strong but in a direct comparison here you recognize that yeah it's really smooth here in this way here to get here and here if you scroll here it's yeah quite well but there's a difference notable notable one perhaps not relevant for all use case scenarios but uh, still here we even have here our virtual cockpit integrated here so yeah but interesting to see um, how this develops and as again it's interesting here that it comes also also with uh, Wi-Fi and Ethernet IP stack here included that's something which was really very hard to achieve here on this microcontroller for us so it's a well-rounded package here with wi-fi i would say with very good software support so just an insight into a few hardware issues here thank you